Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Spirits in Gear, we're going to check out the Gahana from Leclerc Mario. When it comes to distortion and preamp pedals, you know, amp in a box kind of a thing, there are two different kinds or two different flavors of these formats. First, you have the the distortions that are trying to emulate uh, a classic amplifier and don't successfully do it and end up being too fizzy. And then you have the kind that I like that really, that, that are all they can be. And the Gahana from Liquilarum Audio is probably amongst the best that I have ever tried. Now, before we go any further, Liquilarum Audio has asked me to show you guys this pedal. However, all thoughts and opinions are still mine. Now, the Gahana is an amalgamation, a combination of a couple of different very cool and unique things. The EQ section, for one, is a combination of active and passive controls. Whereas we have the low mid, high mid, treble, and bass being active, the presence and the depth controls are passive. This basically allows you to infinitely sculpt the EQ section of this pedal. Now with the level control, Typically, on these kinds of pedals, uh, you will get an amount of fizziness being introduced to the signal the more you turn them up. That is not so with the Gahana. And there's also two different gain knobs, gain controls, that you can then switch between with the tap of your foot. I love this because if you wanna go from crazy to insane, or from lighthearted rock to all out metal, you can do that in a single pedal. Now, while the Gahana is designed to really go into the front end of a clean amp, it can also be used as a preamp, but I will note that you will have to crank the presence and treble controls a little bit if you're going to use this as a preamp. Just letting you know, that's totally okay, and there's room for that on the pedal, and that's how I will be using it for the duration of this video as a preamp into the power section of my Soldano SLO 100. Now, my two favorite features of this pedal are the cut control, and the low mid control. I love having the control over the low mids depending on the guitar that I'm plugging into the Gahana to kind of control that little bit of muddiness that will typically happen when you start really cranking up the gain. That's not what this does. This thing chugs all day long. Let me show you. So now let's go ahead and just do a casual knob twisting playthrough. I will continue to stick with my Fender Jim Root guitar tuned to drop C. I will continue to use this as a preamp into the effects return of my Soldano SL100, utilizing that amp for just the power section. And uh, yeah, let's give this thing a spin, shall we?
Okay, what do I think? Not shockingly, this pedal's actually pretty sick. I, I didn't know preamp pedals could do this. This really does do it all as far as just anything even remotely aggressive or heavy, down-tuned, up-tuned, doesn't really matter. This is 199 euros. This is a lot of bang for your buck, and I love the headroom that it has as well, which is a result of the charge pump internally. So I don't know, there's just, there is something for everyone in this pedal. Also, it looks really cool. Real talk. I will link down below in the description if you'd like to know more about the Kahana and Licklarum audio. And with that, you've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.